What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Continuing along with Centuries of Glory Burned Away, it's time for the boss Totawi. Or Tawoti. Or Tatui? Either way. Very straightforward fight. Mostly a gimmick fight. I'm just going to head right on in here and explain it as we go. But this boss has two critical attacks we're going to look out for. Uh, one is him throwing objects at you. The other is him punching. And the basic idea here is we just need to deal... We need to toss those back build up his spirit bar, deal some criticals, and then that's it. So that's one of the things he threw at us. Here comes a bunch. Like that. And honestly, you don't even have to go in and attack. You can. You can empower your, your allies. They'll smack the legs. Uh, you, you can. You can certainly attack if you're not good at the, the criticals here. For example, casting the ice and some decent damage there, but for the most part, I would suggest just hanging out back and, and waiting for the parry opportunities. The deflect opportunities, excuse me. Just kind of wait in and occasionally smacking him. If you want, you can run on up and hit the legs, but you know, like I said, this is mostly a... He's taking a hot minute, he's going to just do damage here. Anyway, once you get him down, he is going to fall forward. And we can see a big wave spot here, so go ahead and hit that. It's going to do some damage. Structures are going to be created. I appreciate it. And you have a little bit of time, as you can see, so it's not like you're going to be too stressed. Make your way up and get up and then jump. There we go. Crit. And now you think you'd be done, but no, there's actually another phase that's coming up. So this one is, is even easier, but essentially the boss is going to crawl at you. Uh, very, very reminiscent of Attack on Titan, actually, if you've ever seen the anime. It's, it's on all fours, just coming at you. And the best way to handle this here is going to be to just get one deflect. One deflect and a counter, and then you can immediately wrap it up. So position yourself to where you can see this charge when it's coming. I think we're just letting Lube go down. Uh, he's, he's gone down too much. It's spazzing a little bit. We can go ahead and do damage just like before if we want, but the bigger thing here is just getting the critical. We're gonna let Zhao Yun die. I think he's not doing his charges because of the followers. right on top, and then from here, I'm just going to beat this up. Put the four weak spot. You can see attacking that is then going to leave him exposed. 
climb up the top of it and go on in. And just like that, Kawi T will go on down and that'll be a wrap. So after that, we're going to get access to another spirit. And she's Jade. Want to get the loot. And then up next, we have the side mission of the Lost Sacred Artifact. Another lengthy load. One thing I don't like is how it forces you into the next main mission. Like, I don't want to do this right now. There's other things I want to do. I'm hopping on over to travel. We lost a sacred artifact. And now this mission is going to get us a lot of really good steel five. Steel five and then I believe leather five is the reward just for completing it. But pretty fast mission to burn through. And uh, the Steel 5 really, really can't be uh, overstated. You get, you get quite a bit. Uh, so here we are, right at basically the end of the previous mission. We'll and take these guys out. I don't think if you want to bring followers along, feel free to. This mission's pretty short, so I don't really think it's needed. There are a lot of marking flags, but I don't know why they gave us so many. We got a marking flag one over here. And then. Rank five steel. Rank five steel. And rank five steel. Just like that. Five rank five steel, that fast. And then as I mentioned. We want we can just hop right back in oh actually i don't know i haven't tested this before it should i don't know if that will uh that will respawn considering we haven't finished the mission so i know in main missions at least if you're not finished them and you leave it'll spawn you back in where you were we're testing it in real time baby going off the rails Looks like it, because it didn't keep our marking flag, so I'd assume it's also respawned the steel. Probably a side mission, main mission discrepancy. I'm trying to wonder if there was loot on the ground over here. No, there's not. Okay, stop. It's a nice farm. Anyway, so we got uh, marking one, marking two, going to the hut for a buttload of steel, head up the pathway for... We're gonna head up the pathway for loot and chest, and for marking three. and open this up. Marking three, Let's see where we're at. Uh, marking three, return and go up for zombies and marking four, return and cross records. Oh no, do that, so jump down. Oh, 
Hang on a second, I'm getting lost in my notes. Uh, we got the st head up to the pathway and loot for chest, then jump and go down for marking three, return, and go up for zombies and marking four, return and cross wreckage, then into the river. I'm saying go down. No, so we're taking the river path later. It's probably this. How do want to do that? Probably getting that loot in there. Get this marking. It does take quite a bit to get off. That marking. Pick up the battle flag now since we're here. We're not going to go through just yet, but we'll have this as the, uh, the checkpoint for now. So now let's work our way back, get this guy in the chest, and then we'll take the other path around. Probably meant to drop down over here, but... Doesn't really matter. As long as we get all the markings, that's what counts. Get that one. Nothing back here this time. an ominous chill on everything, I think. Lots and lots and lots and lots of zombies. back here. Not a marking. I actually forgot. I thought the marking was back there, but it's this thing with the, uh, there we go, getting the, um, when these levels are like duplicates like this, it's very easy to get them mixed up. Mermaid, get loot, marking five in the nook, take pathway to the other river, Shiatsu, then continue through for marking six. Uh, continue up and get to the mid for the battle flag. No loot from you. Okay. For you. That's the Shiatsu. Um, 
Not that good. Let's go ahead and drop it. See, the thing is, I really like to just kind of do this off of memory, which begs the question why I'm taking these notes. But those are usually just for when I forget stuff. So we have the Shiatsu, then we have Marking 6, continue up mid for battle flag, dip out, and then left for Marking 7, return, kill demon, get chest, and drop. Hairpin. Hairpins are usually pretty good. Uh, martial arts damage, poison accumulation. Eh. Continue through. Okay, this is getting a little bit excessive here. I shouldn't have to do all that, but... I mean, a few times I miss having Earth, just because Earth literally, like, looks at them and they die. Get marking seven. I'm going to ramp and see. through here. Obviously, we already grabbed the marking flag that was up ahead. The battle flag, so I got my drop down confused. I think originally the plan was to do the stuff, get that, get that, and then run that way. Um, but instead of going on inside there, of course, we're going to take that side path similar to before. Before you drop, go ahead and... down. Alright, hop over the side, kill the warlock, run on a head and down pathway for marking eight. Let me swing inside and kill two enemies to wrap this mission up. Well, this next fight's really easy, it's just two demonics. Shouldn't really have any issue here at all. So with those two down, just run on over here and grab the Imperial Seal, and that's it. Glorious victory. But the thing I like about this mission, so we had that five uh, rank five steel at the start. You get four rank five leather for finishing it. And to be honest, it's a really fast mission to do because you don't need to get all those marking flags. I mean, it's just killing two basic, basic uh, demonic soldiers. You can pretty much just run on through and slaughter those guys. Grab a couple flags along the way and you'll be fine. A really, really solid one to uh, farm up some upgrade mats. But let's go ahead and accept our delivery. Unparalleled spear and armor. It's beautiful. We're gonna kit on out an earth build real fast just so we have a secondary build ready to go. <sighs> I could um, use some more sleep. You are upgraded all the way. Upgrade our wooden pulled spear all the way. We're gonna upgrade the unparalleled while we're here. Let's see if I have anything else that is earth scaling while I'm looking here. Cavalry Halberd. It's got a little bit of earth. A little bit of earth. Actually, let me sort this out by rarity. I don't even want something that's four star rarity or above. And you got a little bit of earth too. 
I guess we could keep with the repeating crossbow. Ranged attack, damage, along with ammo retrieval upon ranged attack. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's upgrade it. We'll use it. Uh, cavalry halberd. Oh, the pull on. Dragon Slayer and Phoenix. Big hit and the Phoenix. Yeah, that's, that's solid. Forgot I had those two. Um, I'd probably... Yeah, I'd probably be better off with you. Upgrade you, as well as our secondary. And we're actually going to reset up our classes real fast here. So, a pair of swords, and then the wooden pulled spear. Go ahead and level up. That up to 44. Battle prep, battle set. Save it. And then what we would do here is we're going to... on that new spear that we just got, wherever it's at, there's unparalleled spear. And then uh, we're gonna put on the pole arm. And then we're gonna slap on the boldness set. We're gonna go ahead down here. Welcome. And we're gonna salvage. Make sure you remove any checks on the other stuff, or, or a better way to do it, actually, before we even do that. Um, since we're not doing anything with that gear, the safer way is just going to be to go here and lock it. It's going to give you a warning, but, you know, the thing is we don't, we don't want to risk losing that stuff at all. So just put a lock on both of those. And then same thing with the armor. So over here, armor. We're not worried about the general of man set anymore. I mean, you can keep it if you want. Um, but I am not personally going to be worrying about that set. And then over here. Um, oh, I have both of these on. I found this one dropped with HP recovery upon deflection. And I was like, oh, yeah, I should keep both. Those are locked regardless. So we're good. Now you can be... Go to inventory, go here. We will unlock that one. And instead... Well, that one's already locked, nice. Well, then I need to fix that up. No, I'll, I'll do that later, it's okay. As long as it's locked, that's what counts. So for this other build, for the Earth build, let's see what we got here. Uh, martial art damage, divine beast gain. Damage reduction, HP recovery, lock. Spirit damage is nice, and power gain upon deflection. We can just rock both of those. That's going to be fine, I think. Or earth phase damage received melee attack. Oh, actually, no, that one's... Even though it's part of the set, earth phase damage received melee attack, spirit damage power, and stone attack power is really solid for that build. And we'll go power gain for you. And then before I worry about picking fixes or anything for the gear... I just want to check my weight thresholds and actually respect this uh, to where I want it. Something you want. So we set. Obviously, we're pulling a lot from here now. Okay, keep you at one. Put you back to. Put you up to four. I think that'll do just fine. Don't ever forget the value of your life. All right, and now we have an earth set. So I'm going to go through and, and upgrade this armor and uh, just get everything ready to go. That, that takes a hot minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that, and then the next episode we'll talk about what we've put on here. Uh, but now this just gives us a, a nice secondary armor set that we can work with 
and really lean into Earth if we need it. If we go up against a boss that's water, for example, which there are a couple coming up. So it'll be very useful to have a backup set. But either way, stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all as soon as we continue.